Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you guys have a great Tuesday. And thank you guys so much for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. Today in the channel, guys, as you can see, we're going to take a look at Skeletor from the Turtles of Grey Skull line from, I believe, Wave 3. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to be unboxing him, but as soon as I do get my second version of this really cool Skeletor, you you know, you can bet I will do a full unboxing with you guys. So hopefully you guys will stay tuned and, and join me for that. But today, guys, we're look at the figure itself in the in the box, uh, the weapons he's come with, uh, the beautiful artwork in, as well, and hopefully have a lot of fun. So here we go, guys. So right here, you have Skeletor right there, and Shredder in the top corner is right there. You have the Turtles of Grey Skull logo, some beautiful pinkish purple sky. Of course, Skeletor, the evil um, samurai of destruction, very, very cool. You got the vintage rocks, like the purplish green oozed rocks blasting around him right there. And there's the figure himself. He looks absolutely amazing, guys. Looks incredible. There he is. You got the Master Universe logo here. And the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo as well. It comes with a bottle of ooze right there. And one of the coolest things I really like is his Havoc Staff uh, Nunchucks. I think that's really cool. Looks absolutely amazing. Alright. Flip it around the back. With some gorgeous artwork. There's Skeletor taking on the turtles. You got Donnie and, and, and Raph. And there's old Mikey right there. And back there, there's old He-Man right there in the shadows. In, st in his stealth mode. And Leo's there too, I believe. Yeah, there's Leo right there. You got Beast Man right here. And, and we're going to talk about Beast Man and Skeletor here. Because I think Skeletor is... And for, 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 first of all, Skeletor is a far superior, you know... But as far as his, his look, you know, they did it right with, with him, you know, and not Beastman. And, and I'll tell you what I mean about that. So there's Beastman. And there is a nice glamour shot right there. A little timeline here. All right. A little, little bayou right here. And, of course, the other figures in this wave. We have Michelangelo and Tila and Casey Jones. And I will be getting these guys very soon. I, I, I was unable to get these guys right away because I picked up a grail for my WWE uh, uh, universe. I finally found my my Snake Mountain ring, which is very rare to find with, you know, fully, you know, intact with figures. Um, like uh, if there's um, the Hulk Hogan and the Stone Cold Steve Austin. So, you know, that's you know something I, uh, I must have for my collection. And I was able to find them. That Snake Mountain ring. But sure enough, guys, I will be, you know, collecting these. I did pre-order these figures as well. Alright. Beautiful shot of Skeletor there. He looks amazing. And it comes with the comic book as well, as always. And like I said, once we do get a second version of, of Skeletor here, I will do a full unboxing with you guys. I always keep my promises. Alright. But he looks amazing. Now, compared to the, of course, the Beast Man. I have Beast Man right here, okay? If you remember my Beast Man, you know, um, you know, review um, and unboxing as well. You know, this is basically what you have here is, is Wave 1 Beast Man for the most part. Like 99.9% free. Except for the chest right there is a little bit different. You, you know, it's all B Wave 1 Beast Man. And I, I complained because, you know, I wanted something different. I wanted something, like, something new, something different with this Beast Man. You know, make it flocked. Make it dark red. You know, give us that Lords of Power look or, or different head sculpts. You know, something. Something that make it different from, you know, that Wave 1 Beast Man. Okay? With Skeletor here, they did an amazing job. Okay? First off, the armor looks good. The face sculpt looks really good. Okay? I love the, the look. It's got that yellowish oozed look to him right there. I love the nunchucks as well. He looks absolutely amazing. Right there. The overall, the overall look, even the skin tone is different. Okay, and what I was going to do, guys, I was always going to come out with some other Skeletor uh, Origins figures, but unfortunately, um, they were not cooperating with, um, with me, and I was going to have them on my turntable, but they kept on falling over, and so I kind of scrapped that. 
And of course, you know, I'll try it again once we do unbox this version of Skeletor, because I think he's one of my top Skeletor so far, you know, in the Origins line. Alright. And there's the ooze bottle, it's amazing. But another thing that sets him apart, okay, it's very rare. Okay, if you have this figure or you have seen unboxings of him, you know, it's very rare, but this Skeletor here it does have a soft good cape. Alright, yes. He does come with a soft good cape. Alright. And I wish I can give a better a better uh image of him right there. But he does come with a soft good cape. Only a few figures in the Origins line have you know have that. She-Ra is one. I do believe King Grayskull is another, and now Skeletor. So I do like that. You know, finally, you know, we're finally getting a soft good, you know, cape for this amazing character. He looks out he looks awesome, guys. You know, one of my top three. You know, if I gotta pick my top three Skeletors, um right now, I would go number three for the, you know, for this version here. Uh number two would be Battle Armored Skeletor. And number one for me. Um, for now, would be uh, Dragon Blaster Skeletor. I, yeah, I, but all versions of Skeletor are absolutely amazing. And of course, hopefully we'll get that laser light or laser powered Skeletor very soon in Origins with laser light Ske um, He-Man. You know, but like I said, I'm very cool. And I think the chest, it, I don't know, for for a moment there, I thought it had that, like, that oozed, like, symbol on it. I don't know, like that warning, but, I, I, but I'm wrong, guys. I don't think the top part here, right here, his, around the chest, around the neck, is soft goods. It's just the cape itself. And it looks like you can bend it, you can you know, make it look like it's like flowing in the wind. It looks absolutely amazing, right there. Trying to, so I'm trying to make sure it isn't like... And I apologize for the, for the, um, the not focusing properly, guys. Trying to focus my hand. But he looks really cool, guys. They did an, an amazing job of him. Like I said, I love the the Havoc staff uh, uh, nunchucks here. His looks looks amazing, you know, compared, you know, to the Beast Man, you know. Like I said, they did it right with with Skeletor. He did. He looks incredible. It would have been also cool too, guys. You know, for fun, if that face sculpt right there could glow in the dark. I think that would be, or, or even the figure itself can glow in the dark. I don't think he does, but that would have been a nice little treat right there, of having Skeletor um, glow in the dark. Of course, each figure is you know has that 5.5 .5 scale. You can customize it. You can pop the head off. You can pop the arms off. Um, you know, you can customize it to create your own version of Skeletor in this in, in this in this world here. I love the I love the Havoc staff. Uh, uh, Symbol right there on the top of his helmet right there. Silver right there. Absolutely amazing. Like one of my top three. There's a little shot of Leo right there. Right. And like I said, I, I can't wait to get the other figures in this wave here. From Mikey to Tila to Casey Jones. All right, guys. But there you go, guys. There's a a quick look at Skeletor. You know, it'd be kind of fun too, guys. Another couple of figures that you know would be perfect for this for this world here. Of course, is you know no question. Ninjor would be an amazing figure. Of course, he's a ninja. You know, and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Crawl, I think he would be a great fit for this line. And Slammerai is another great figure, you know, in this world of, you know, of the Turtles of Grayskull. I'm very curious, too, if we're going to get, you know, any type of playset. You know, I think I mentioned the Ooze Pit would be a perfect, you know, Ooze, you know, a perfect playset with this amazing, uh, like, uh, brand here or line here. And make it so, like, you can switch out the, the face sculpts, you know, because you've seen the Ooze Pit, you know, Glamour shots. It's it's has um, Shredder's face on it, and you can switch it out with that skull for the more of the slime pit. You know, you can create your own version. I think that'd be really cool. But he looks amazing. I mean, very cool.
course, I have them um, encased because I have it unpunched right there in my nose lean case right there. N O Z uh, E. Uh, no, I'm sorry, I can barely see it, but it's nose lean. L N O Z L E N cases. It's a nice protective case, and I'm not being sponsored by them or paid. It's not a sponsorship. This is free of mouth. This is these are incredible cases, guys. So I highly recommend for you guys if you wish to keep your you know your collection safe and secure and dust free. It does come with you know on punt like a little thing right here that you wish to you know display your you know your figure you know however you wish. Like night and day. Once again, guys, night and day. You know between the the, the samurai look. You know you know with these figures here. Alright. And like I said, I found a great deal on that Masters of the WWE Universe Snake Mountain Ring that includes my last two figures that I needed for my collection. You know, they and so um if I didn't find that really cool deal on that great ring, um I would have probably picked up Mikey and the rest of the, of the line here. But but rest assured guys, like I said, I will get these figures very soon on the channel. I have pre-ordered them as well, so I cannot wait. To hang out and uh, talk to you guys with these incredible figures with you guys. All right. But there you go, guys. There's a look at the Turtles of Grey Skull Skeletor, and I love it. The Evil Samurai of Destruction, right there. All right. One more shot before we end the video. And also, guys, I want to say thank you guys so much for the likes and the comments on my collection tour thank you so much guys for that and that's you know it means a lot and thank you thank you guys so much i'm very I, like i said i'm very proud of my collection it might be small but like i said i'm very proud of my collection what i've been able to collect of this incredible brand from the origins line of course the masters line and cgi and so forth and like you know and everything you know from the vintage line to everything funko pops you name it guys so thank you guys for your comments and your likes and your views. It means a lot to me, guys. So thank you so much, guys. All right. All right, guys. I'd like to take the time now, okay, to thank my subscribers. If you made it this far in the video and have not subscribed, please subscribe, guys. I love talking to you guys all things Masters of the Universe, which would be the Turtles of Grayskull line here, to the Cartoon Collection, to the Vintage line as well, to the Masters line, which could be New Eternia, to, of course, Sun Man, to Princes of Power, to new adventures of He-Man as well. All right. And hit that like button. And thank you guys for doing that, guys. It means a lot to my channel. It helps my channel to get out there to grow for more people who love He-Man, who collect He-Man like we do, who have a passion for this amazing product. So hopefully watch my videos and hit that like button and subscribe as well. So hitting that like button, that thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for doing that. And hit that notification bell when you know I upload new videos. Now, tomorrow, I was going to do more... Um, I might do two things. I might do more, uh, like a relook at more um, uh, Origins um, uh, Mattel Creations exclusives. We did that, you know, about a week ago, about a week and a half ago, or two weeks ago. Um, and we still have to look at some amazing figures on that line. Or we might, I might do a, a discussion about the Origins line, you know, in, in in general. If it's too much right now, all right, is it overkill right now? What, what I mean by that. Is that you know right now as of filming this right now we have three origins based lines you know we have the vintage line we have the cartoon collection and we have the turtles of gray skull is it too much right now I mean the question is I mean do do we really need a a an like a a cartoon collection or a filmation based origins line or even the turtles of gray skull line you know I mean you know that's the question I mean. I mean, are you guys, you know, as, as, as a collecting, you know, as collecting this incredible line, have you been able to keep up with everything so far? I mean, are you focusing on certain things for your collection? So I might talk about that, you know, tomorrow. So I hope you guys will join me with that. You know, I would love to hear your thoughts on that, you know, of how you feel about this incredible line here. Have you been able to keep up, like I said, of all the lines here? Or are you, are you just focusing on certain things from each line, you know? So I cannot wait to talk to you. I so I might do that tomorrow. Let's see. And I'm not sure how long that's going to be, but I, you know, I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. So I hope you guys will stay tuned for that, guys, for tomorrow. All right. 
course, share this video who has a passion and a love for collecting all things Master of the Universe for over 40 years, guys. From the 80s to now, the Turtles of Grayskull, to the classics, to Masterverse, you know, to CGI, to Super 7, to the, you know, cartoon collection, to, you know, um, the vintage line of, of Origins, to Mondo, to Funko Pops, you know, you name it, guys, to 2000X, you know, to Princess of Power, you know, I mean, this incredible line, guys, like I said, it's absolutely amazing, and I love collecting and talking to you guys, you know, and every day. So once again, guys, thank you guys once again for your for your likes and your comments on my collection tour. Thank you so much for that. All right. But I hope you guys have a great Tuesday and I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Take care, guys, and have a good one.